Yesterday, I did a video on the official Siberia OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But today, it's a different day and today I'm gonna do the unofficial Siberia OS video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And let me tell you, first of all, this is the build by Rashid and he definitely did a pretty damn good job by developing this unofficial Siberia OS and I really like it. So why, what are the things which are different from the official build? And let me tell you one more thing about this ROM that everything is present on this ROM which I showed you yesterday on the Siberia OS official ROM and I won't talk about those things but let me tell you that all of those things are present over here on this ROM like the advanced reboot, double tap to sleep and all the customizations are really similar to this ROM and this is like better and I'll talk about all the things which I am noticing is new on this ROM I mean in this particular unofficial Siberia OS build by Rashid so let me just show you that in today's video so here first thing you will notice is the Valdi icon and the Valdi icon like the option was there in the status bar UI icons but it was not working on the official build but right now we do have the Valdi icon and the Valdi of course works super fine and you won't find like more customizations over here of course let me go into the settings and the Siberia settings are same or like similar to the official version so that is that but over here what you will find new is let's go to system and we have this advanced settings and over here you will get this camera to API toggle so that is a great thing if you wanna use Gcam on this ROM you can definitely do that by just enabling this toggle and rebooting the device and by installing the Gcam so that is pretty cool and over here the stock camera is the Mi A2 camera I did not install it like its stock pre-installed camera of this ROM so that is pretty cool because the official Siberia OS had a pretty bad like a pretty old camera UI or camera app and over here portrait mode and stuff should be working super fine let me just show you so as you can see let me just take a picture so as you can see the portrait mode did work fine and of course everything should be working fine over here on this ROM and the first thing which I have noticed after flashing this unofficial build is the haptic feedback it feels a far more premium and it feels super light to touch so yeah that is cool that the haptic feedback have been improved in this unofficial build and the next thing which I'm gonna talk about is the Google Pay well Google Pay is working fine but for that you need to disable the phone and messaging permission of the Google Play services app so you can definitely do that just by going to app settings and then just find the Google Play services app then go to permission and disable the phone and messaging app permission then set up the Google Pay it should be working super fine you don't need to worry now let me just show you the about section quickly over here let's go into system then about and android version it still says siberia over here but the security patch over here is of november 5th 2018 which is the latest one so that is great and over here only one bug that i have noticed is like while playing pubg there is like some kind of glitches let me just show you that and again all the customizations are present over here even this brightness control from the status bar and double tap to sleep and stuff working super fine the fingerprint scanner works super fine you don't need to worry and the pubg is just loading let me just close it so for pubg you can play at hd high settings and you don't get this in miui but in custom roms you definitely can play in hd high let me just start a match and of course the android by side volume panels are working super fine and did you just notice the glitch so sometimes it happens like the half screen makes it a little bit glitchy or there is some kind of glitch effect but most of the time the gaming is the gaming experience is super fine as you can see So these guys are jumping, I'm just following them. Freaking kidding me.
so as you just saw the gaming performance is fine but let me tell you what's the most and the best thing about this rom well that would be the battery life well this is the most amazing battery life that i have seen let me just show you i got around 7 hours of screen on time like it's not even 7 hours let me just reduce the brightness i got around 7 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time with 48 percent juice left like let that sink in for a moment this is amazing and this rom will pretty much last you a full working day pretty sure no doubts on that and let me show you the full usage so over here as you can see i charged the device around 13 hours ago and i have been using it for like most of the time i have watched five hours of youtube videos so <laughs> just just think about it like the battery life over here is insanely good you don't need to worry about the battery life at all so this is the most amazing battery life that i have seen on the redmi note 5 pro and let me check the stock kernel again i do not know what's the stock kernel so it's the dark plus kernel but still i'm getting like amazing amazing battery life so have to give it a thumbs up and if you guys want a most amazing battery life custom rom just go with this one i would say there is no competition out there with this rom because i have never seen these kind of battery life in any other roms for the redmi note 5 pro pretty much let me show you the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed so as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast and one cool thing about this rom is the boot animation let me just show you the boot animation of this rom So as you can see the boot animation is pretty cool. So huge thanks to the developer for this amazing amazing rom. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Streeto from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.